they dart out with barely any time to make it across. For the first time, we are hearing from the other teenage driver involved in this deadly crash outside West Hills High School. Anthony Ortiz crashed into the car driven by Ryan Will Weber. Well, Will Weber was killed. 10 News reporter Emily Valdez was there when Ortiz spoke tonight. And Emily, he hasn't returned to school yet. Yeah, that's what I'm told. And can you imagine you're a 16 year old, you're a new driver, and you get into a fatal car crash with one of your classmates? The crash happened right here on Mast Avenue. And that young driver, along with plenty of others, are hoping a stoplight will go up here. Hi, Council. My name is Anthony Ortiz. I was the other driver involved in the tragic crash on April 30th. West Hills Junior uh, Anthony Ortiz looked day. a bit shaken standing before a packed house at the Santee City Council. Understandable considering what he's been through. I believe one death should be enough to get something done. That one death is 17-year-old Ryan Will Weber. He was driving the silver car, his brother Corey in the passenger seat. They dart out with barely any time to make it across. Deputies say Ryan pulled out to turn left in front of the SUV Ortiz was driving. I believe a traffic light should be installed there because it would slow down the traffic and it would risk, it would save lives even more. Nothing like this needs to happen. The accident could have been fully prevented. Freshman Kaylin Rambo knew Ryan. He was a face I see every day and it went from every day to never. She's doing a petition. These signatures are to show that a range of people, not just the teens from my school, believe that there should be a stoplight here. She says Ortiz has not been back to school since the crash. He might not be physically hurt, but he has to carry this pain with him for the rest of his life. That's it. Thank you for your time. And we were told by city leaders that the sheriff's department was going to release their preliminary findings into the investigation tonight at the meeting, but that did not happen. All they said is their investigation should be completed by the end of the month. I'm live in Santee, Emily Valdez, 10 News.